This video is sponsored by Taskade, a real-time organization and collaboration platform. Make sure to check the description for a discount on your subscription. Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new tutorial series on React Router. In this introductory video, we will briefly go over what the library is, what it is capable of, and also take a look at the prerequisites to get started. Now what I'm trying to do is make this channel a one-stop shop for everything related to React. So far, we have tutorials on React fundamentals and advanced topics, React hooks, React Redux, React Formic, React Storybook, React Render, React Table, React TypeScript, React Query, and React styled components. To add to this list, we're going to learn about the React Router library. Now, what is React Router? Well, it is a fully featured client and server side routing library for React. The library helps create and navigate between different URLs that make up your web application. It also provides unique URLs for different components in the app and makes the UI easily shareable with other users. If you're building a medium to large scale React app, React Router is a must have package. In this course, we will take a look at configuring routes in a React app, navigating on button click, navigating programmatically, about dynamic routes, nested routes, route parameters, lazy loading, and authentication to name a few topics. By the end of the series, you'll have a really good understanding of the features React Router provides and you'll be comfortable building medium to large scale React apps. Before we start though, let me tell you that to make the most out of the series, you must know the fundamentals of React, including React hooks. If you are new to React, please make sure to go through the fundamentals and the hooks series on this channel. All right, with this in mind, let's get started in the next video.